Okay, so this video is not going to be made with malicious intent, it, intent, malicious intent towards Sergio Aguero or anything like that. Uh, I just think it needs to highlight the pervy, weird, sexual harassment nature in which he touched the female Premier League line official in the contest against Arsenal. We're going to start off by saying, very boring game. Uh, I'm glad Raheem Sterling scored early. The game is out of question, okay? Let's face it, because there's not a lot to talk about in the game, realistically. Arsenal lose to Pep Guardiola once again in Man City. So be it. I think literally the story that everyone, Piers Morgan, Men in Blazers, fucking all the fan accounts that everyone is getting from this is that Aguero is being a little bit weird with the line official. If that is a male line official, he does not essentially touch... I, you can't even say it's sensual. It's just, you cannot touch the, the official's shoulder like that. It's just so weird and cringy and icky. I don't I don't know how else to say it. It's disgusting. It is. And it's obviously not something that he's going to be punished for uh, because men being men, uh, nobody's going to feel weird about that. And honestly, you guys might absolutely despise and hate this video. Then you're not going to make it out of the first minute and I appreciate you even coming and clicking on it. Uh, but let's face it, if you guys haven't seen the video, I will leave a link to it down in the description below. Uh, or if you didn't watch the match or anything, and if you're very confused on what, what we're talking about here, I will leave a link to that video because, let's face it, it was very, very weird. Uh, it's obviously the one female line judge on the field, Aguero. I get it, players try to like woo officials and like try to talk good to officials to maybe get a favorable call. This didn't even seem like one of those. It was just so cringe and awkward, and it just made me so uncomfortable. It, it did. Like, it, it's one of those things where even the female official immediately threw his hand off of her shoulder, uh, and you could tell she was not comfortable with it. And reading replies to it on Twitter as well, it is all men saying, like, Aguero did nothing wrong, like, this isn't sexual assault or har harassment or anything like that. He's just, he's just being a guy. He's just doing his thing in football. And it's so weird. It's so weird because you can't defend those guys by any means, but you kind of understand where they're coming from. However, the one thing that I've noticed from all the comments on Twitter and all the stuff that we've been looking at from the Aguero situation is that um, there are no women that are defending this action. None. None, really. Uh, because, let's face it, Women deal with a lot of shit, and this is one of those situations where this does look really weird, and there's a reason it looks really weird, is because it is. It's it's just bad. It's just a terrible thing. But Aguero, obviously he has no ill intent. That's why I tried to say at the beginning of this video. He has no ill intent. He's not trying to be uh, sexually pervasive. He's not trying to harass the official in any way. He's just being a little touchy-feely. He's just being a little touchy. He doesn't know his boundaries. There's a boundary with the line official and Sergio Aguero. You're not supposed to touch the officials. Let's face it, ever, realistically. You're not supposed to... Obviously, players get into officials' faces, stuff like that, whatever. But you're not supposed to touch them, and especially the female officials. You're not supposed to touch them. She's also been one of the better line judges, I think, in the Premier League so far this season. Although VAR obviously helps do this, some of their jobs. It's just... I'm looking at the replay of it over and over because it just keeps playing in, in my computer screen. Uh, it, and it just gets worse upon viewing every single time because it's just so pervy. It's just so gross. And let's face it, guys. Obviously, uh, this one of those situations then comes down to what even happens to Aguero in this situation? Like, if the female official actually decides to speak up and decides, I'm going to take action on this right now, what do we do in that situation? Does Aguero get like a yellow? Does he get a red? What do players get for touching referees? I mean, I know obviously there's like been videos of players hitting officials. Those obviously are red cards, but this isn't that type of situation. It's just touching a female official on the shoulder in a very awkward and bad manner. Obviously, she bats his arm off. Uh, Aguero, stop shooting a shot on the referee, bro. You got a girl at home. You got a kid. Cut it out. It's just disgusting. It's gross. I don't know if the FA are going to take any other actions to this. It's one of those very, very weird and awkward situations. I said awkward so many times in this video. I might have an awkward counter in this video. But it's one of those things where, like, what do you even do? And this is, I think, that's a good situation, I guess, to talk about. I'm not going to get out of the sport for this. So we will stop after discussing this situation. But, like, if you're a female official in that situation, do you make it a bigger deal? Do you actually bring it up to the to the head official and do you decide, hey, 
I didn't like the way that he was touching me. I didn't like the way that he was he was around me. Do you then say something? Does it then put officials in an awkward situation? Do we need guidelines for stuff like this if there are going to be female officials in football and let's say if they're getting touched the wrong way? Because let's face it, female footballers would not touch male officials in this way. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't even think twice about doing it. And that's the issue. That's where we come to the issue is that Willie Guerrero, probably not even a second thought for him. And that's men and football in general. And so that's where we're going to end this video. Obviously, this has been a very, very weird and awkward video. Once again, if you guys haven't seen the video, I will leave a link to it. I believe it'll be a, just a video link or a Twitter link or even a, the Piers Morgan tweet link. Maybe we'll toss that in there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has just been my weird rant on it. I... I don't really know what else to say on it because there's no definitive action that you can take to Sergio Aguero in any means that would seem justified because he did nothing wrong, but it's just so bad at the same time, and it just feels so wrong also, if you guys get what I'm saying. Let me know if you guys even have a problem with it. I will, I will listen to any comments. I will read you guys' comments. I will take your guys' hate messages, whatever, if you guys are feeling that he did nothing wrong, explain to me actively and in and, and a good conversation why you think he did nothing wrong. And we can have the and we can have these, you know, good discussions, hopefully in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and peace.